Hello there friends, welcome back or welcome on in. If you guys are just joining us, we are playing some more My Time at Sandrock today. Uh, we have explored a new dungeon, which was really fun. We got a big, um, like, I think it was a power core, I believe, for Chi. Uh, and we're kind of just waiting on things. We're waiting on a couple different big missions to kind of tick over and be like, yeah, you can continue working on them now. So a lot of in-between work, a lot of commissions, a lot of good stuff. I've made far too many ceramic pots. It's kind of a day. <laughs> We're gonna go to bed um, and head on into Saturday, which means we get to do Spot the Difference, which I enjoy. Uh, also, if you guys are just joining us and you haven't already answered question of the day, if you could only have one Switch game, specifically a Switch game, port it to the next gen console, so whatever comes next, which would you choose? Hey, Jakery, how are you? Oh, it's, it's Sandy. It's Sandy today. All right, bear with me. Oh, just Matilda T pose. That's funny. Uh, unfortunate that it's happening, but also I'm not a really big fan of her. <laughs> no. Uh, does it need to be under glamour too? Is that the issue? No, okay, it just need to be on both. That's fine. There we go, we can hand in that commission this morning. And grab our rubber. Do you have the Matilda t -pose issue too? I want to see pictures. If you guys are uh, in our Discord, we do have a section uh, for my time at Sandrock. I'm definitely excited to see people posting in there. Carry around ceramic pots on me, don't mind me. Okay. Uh, from Chi, Builder, need to speak with you immediately. Come to the research center. Okay, and Chi is now my associate. Um, uh, was that our commission? Who am I doing this commission for, actually? It's for Heidi. Okay, acting like she's not here. Okay, so that would be Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, I think those are probably my answers as well. Or answer. Um, I think they're just, they're iconic. So, it just, it needs to be. Yes, I'm on PC, I'll try and Discord. I have something you. very exciting to show you today. Using the R47 Power Core Ultra, I was able to channel upwards of 10 gigajoules per second of energy out of condensed power stones without encountering any significant losses in efficiency. I can't remember if it was a Microsoft showcase or what, but I remember a couple years ago they were doing a, a console showcase and they were mentioning the power or the speed of something and it was something like a gigaflop, which sounds hilarious to me, but that may be an actual unit of measurement of something. I don't know. But anyway, gigaflops. The amplitude and frequencies of vibrations at high dual inputs seem to be minimalized by an advanced internal stabilizer in the compression chamber, averting electrothermal heat displacement. It's literally bending the law of thermodynamics. Why are we here? <laughs> He's like, what? I've designed a power suit running on the R47 Power Core Ultra. It will greatly enhance the speed at which we can rebuild the bridge. It's a design I came up with at Vega 5. But I never believed we'd actually find the energy output to put it into practice. My inspiration for it comes from something very obscure. Something you two never would have heard of. Isn't this one of the robots from that old world entertainment show? What was it? Gungums? Um, must be a bizarre coincidence. I've never seen anything like that. Why would I be watching some random, obscure old world entertainment show? Mm hmm In any case, this will be very useful. I was planning on using cranes, but with this, we can save a lot on the budget. Good job, director. 
If I ever get my hands on any other R57 cores, I'll be able to manifest even more superior designs. <laughs> uh, here's the diagram for it. I mean, it looks exactly like one of the Gungam robots. Uh, look at the time. We all have a lot of work to do, so I bid you both good day. Fine. When you're done with this Gungam mobile suit, give it to me. We should have the budget for it. I heard that. Okay, Heidi, I think. No, was it not Building. for you? Please be careful in a sandstorm. I thought I had a commission for you. Am I crazy? Oh, I'm missing one. No wonder I'm crazy. Okay, cool. That is better than I thought. Floating point operations per second. Well, now I know. Okay, um... So, I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh. Justice, I got a situation to report. I rose this morning, put the kettle on, put in my toast, and started doing the laundry. About halfway through the wash, I realized I'd left the toast burning in the toaster. Uh, Grams, I got a couple other cases to get through today, so if you don't mind, uh... <laughs> yeah, and does not care. All right, all right. You used to love hearing my stories. Point is, for the life of me, I just cannot find my magnifying glass. I got reason to believe someone went and crept in through the window and snatched it they did just a magnifying glass i mean why would anybody do that uh i'm sure it'll turn up around the house just keep looking you sure you ain't just misplaced it somewhere misplaced it nerve of you whippersnappers I ain't lost a magnifying glass yet, and I don't plan on starting now. Mm-mm. I'm telling you, somebody glass snapped it. Well, I mean, it's the first time I heard of a stolen magnifying glass. Oh, it must have been a real nice one, right? Jewel encrusted, solid gold, handed down for generations, so on and so forth. Goodness, no! I've known you since you were playing yak boys and bandits and little booty. Has my family ever come across as having that kind of money? It was made by my husband. It's got sentimental value, Maurice. Ah, oh, come on, Grams. You know it's justice now. It has been for years. Maurice. <laughs> oh, Arvio just popped in. It is rude to eavesdrop, but my ears cannot help but overhear. What an awful turn of events. But, of course, none of this ever would have happened had you purchased one of my world-renowned satchel locks. Arvio. Arvio, you better not have. I'm about to throw this boy off that bridge that we're trying to build before it's been built. Oh, is Bear being picky about food? Do I need to come over there and boop a snoop? Also, Pokemon Girl, I hope Kitty Cat's having a good day. Take a look at my bag. The contents are as safe as precious gold in an Atarian vault. See this metal lock here? Huh? What the? That can't be! Where's my latch? Someone must have stolen it! Just as quick! There's undoubtedly some treacherous being lurking in our midst. But why? Why would they steal the lock off my bag? <laughs> I love NPCs walking through cutscenes. Oh, goodness. The glass snapper strikes again. And he's worked his way up to metal. Where did you lose it? Let me talk to my boy. He can make you another one. Oh, but not till we catch that thief first. Sheriff, your authoritative presence is required. Oh, man. Another one? My jewelry. My back turned for naught but a second, and some lawless vagabond absconded with my rare, limited edition ring. Yeah, that's a different voice, isn't it, for him? <laughs> what? Limited edition? Not just some sewing trinket or a janky lock, but a genuine, certified, honest to light stolen treasure? Perhaps there is indeed something foul in the state of San Rock. Mr. Pablo, would you describe this ring as priceless? 
Indeed, Lawman. To an artist such as me, it is priceless. Of course, to a vendor, five goals tops. But you can't define value by vulgar estimations. No, no. To fit within my refined wardrobe, its true worth was immeasurable. <sighs> right, right. Now, don't worry, folks. I think I've got it all about pieced together. Just rest assured that the Civil Corps will fulfill our duty to handle all y'all's problems. No matter how small or, well, small. But we are a little short-handed. Hmm. Well, if it ain't our humble but hearty builder. Wait, don't tell me you got it lost something too. Seriously, please, don't. Phew, that's a relief. Eh, uh, say, we're a bit short-handed at the Civil Corps right now. City Hall is having us form a scouting party down south. Could you maybe saddle up and lend this old horse a helping hoof? I'll be happy to help. Aha, our ardent builder. Always the first to step up to the plate. Thanks for giving me a hoof. Uh, hand? Or whatever. It's your time to shine now. All you gotta do is speak with all of our, uh, victims. See what they know. Then check out the crime scene. See what you can deduce with them keen peepers of yours. And if you don't find anything, well, it is what it is. <gasps> yes, Brandon, right? <laughs> I won't say much else, but yes, you know. All right, I'm off. Thanks for covering this one. Okay. So we got our work cut out for us. I know you've got it where it counts, child. I can see it in your eyes. I know you'll help us track down this good-for-nothing thief. Uh, when did it disappear? Uh, let's see. I used the magnifying glass to help me read before going to bed. So the first thing I do when I get up is to put it in my pocket. Um, no. Wait, I put on my reading glasses first, then get the magnifying glass from the nightstand. Welcome back, Rebecca. Then I'd get up to make breakfast. Hugo and Heidi would be up around that time. And you know what Hugo is like if he ain't got his breakfast. Big boy like that still hasn't learned to cook a grown man's meal. I swear, one of these days. Japan Gwen, welcome on in. I love your username. How are you doing today? Not the next game in romance. Well, all right. <laughs> What Jace attorney prosecutor? We're talking about uh Godot, I'm pretty sure. Cooked into her food, right? Oh, I'm sorry, child, I'm talking your ear off. Anyway, the thief must have snuck in at the crack of dawn and done so quietly. I sleep light as a feather and I didn't stir in the slightest. Oh, I never thought about putting, like, Starbucks drinks into the freezer like that. That sounds interesting. I know. You've got it where it counts, child. Oh. I can see it in your eyes. I know you'll help us track down this good-for-nothing thief. Okay, and whereabouts was it? I carry it in my pocket during the day. I only set it aside on the nightstand when I go to bed. So the only place it could have possibly gotten stolen from... Is from my room when I was asleep. Okay. Now that I think about it, I always open the window to get some air when I sleep. That must have given the thief a way in. I'll get Hugo to make me an iron window. That's what I'll do. I know. You've got it where it counts, child. Okay, let's check the crime scene. crime scene. Child, make sure those civil corps boys pay you. You've got the lingo down and everything. Well, I suppose the crime scene better be my bedroom. You go right on ahead and check. I know you've got it where it counts, child. She just that to keep repeating that. My, you young folks sure do work quickly. You sure you don't want to hear about the rest of my day? Well, all right. I put all my trust in you to catch this darn thief. Good luck. Okay, let's see. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, uh, bear with me, I just want to make sure. I 
kind of like stumbled across a really big side quest. Uh, Hugo. I think that's Heidi. So I think her room is downstairs here. Or you may have solved this crime. This place where the magnifying glass originally was on the nightstand. It's now empty. A black feather. Oh, X is now laying where it once was. Alrighty. Interesting. But yeah, if you guys are just joining us, we're playing some sand rock today, and I've stumbled across this really big side quest where it seems like a lot of people are missing something suddenly. And I think the common denominator here is the things are like shiny, maybe. Well, Justice always declares himself the heroic vanguard, but here you are doing his work. Fine. I guess I'll discuss this with you instead. Tell me about when it disappeared. It was before noon. I always take my ring off when I start work. Heavy hands lack a certain finesse. I usually put my ring on the front desk. You know, barbers are essentially therapists here in small towns. And in order for me to get into that Zen mindset for head shrinking, I need to do yoga. I was upside down doing a crow pose, and when I looked up, it was gone. Mm, crow, you say? Well, Justice always declares himself the heroic vanguard. I was in my shop. I welcome customers from all over, but I never would have expected a murderer. Indeed, they killed my mood, darling. I don't think that's going to stand up in a court of law. <laughs> well, Justice always declares... Mm. Yes? Just look around my shop for clues. What's it they say? The criminal always returns to the scene of the crime? Well, if that happens, do be sure to catch them this time, darling. Well, justice always de- Oh, I do hope you can help me get it back, darling. This ring is incredibly precious to me. Ruby is my birthstone. It's brought me incalculable luck and cosmic charm. I'll try my best. I'm sure my ring will guide its way to you. It's been a beacon in these dark times. Okay. Uh, so he was upside down doing yoga? Oh, okay, those are the, the fashion show pictures. Up the range, pro nitrum, power cell, extreme 4000, it's all the range in the, in the drying community. Don't care the year ward, although you don't doubt Pavlo's skill, you also don't remember seeing any other hairdressers in Sandrock. There are many different tools and decorative feathers of various colors, very fitting for Pablo's style. But there is one black feather that's a little out of place, I'd, I'd argue. You know, I don't really know, because I've heard people say it before, but like... Like, in fiction. But it just sounds kind of weird to me. Oh, uh, I can't help you if you're locked in your room, Arvio. All right, well, either way, it's Saturday. We were heading to do our Spot the Difference game. If I did, I would never return, right? <laughs> Okay, let's see. So if you guys haven't seen this before, we did it for the first time yesterday. But pretty much the one on the left is perfect. The one on the right has something wonky with it. Sometimes it's easy to tell. Uh, and then other times I found it gets more tricky. At least I remember in Porsche it did. Maybe this game's a bit better. Um... Is this front wheel bigger or am I crazy? No, I'm crazy, okay. Oh, uh, those are weird though. It does get really hard, which is why I'm very happy I have chat to help me out. First off, I can tell that this is, like, weirdly angled. Uh, so 
like green smudges here. Somewhere it's hardly a difference and I can't tell when I review them. But yeah, doing this just gets you a little bit of extra um, uh, like workshop reputation and some money. So, oh, this one I might need help with. We got that. But there should be something else that's kind of weird. I feel like it's gonna be something with the rings, but so far they look good. Is it this? There we go. Oh, you got a shiny dead sparse? Someone just hand in a fish? You can't just hand in a fish and be like, yeah, this is broken. Oh, it's a fish fossil technically, but okay. Sure. A broken fish. <laughs> uh, I can do that one. I guess I could also just pick up the sand link one. I'm gonna have to go pay a visit to Zeke. I'm not with that attitude, you can't. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, did I just, like, not make as much marble as I needed? I didn't. That was silly. Oh, those are being worked on. Uh, okay, how much? We got 16 of them. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll go, I'll go buy it now, I guess. Oh, it was two segment. What are the chances of three segment again? Why on earth is a brilliant diamond shining pearl outselling Arceus? I guess that it's known, you know? It's one out of a hundred. Oh, jeez. Like, I, I think for, for brilliant diamond shining pearl, they weren't the best games and I think arguably they were not as good as Arceus, but Arceus was a risk. It was something different. And I, I'll be very honest, when I was first seeing gameplay of Arceus, I was still going to get it because I enjoy Pokemon. But I was also nervous. I was like, what if I don't like this? Oh, wow. There's like scary enemies here. Uh, I'm just going to keep moving. Whereas I think with uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, it was a remake of a gen that people already knew. Mind you, not a great remake, but you know, a remake nonetheless. I just buy like extra here. Sacrilege in my book. Yeah, I agree with that. Single game instead of two. A few months after Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, so people might have used their Pokemon game money by then. Yeah. That was a weird period, though. We had, like, game after game after game very quickly. <laughs> we're certainly games, I'll give them that. They were, they were a game, yep. Generous just stuff for Christmas. Some people don't have money for stuff right after it. Yeah. Three games in one calendar year for no reason, yeah. Just... just because. So I think that's just, um... Venti being like, hey, do you want to go inside? Which, like, I really don't get why I'd want to do that. Maybe there is reason, but... Okay, so I'm going to plant these, and then we're going to go, uh, 
help out our view? Is it just extra resources? Your gold and silver. X and Y was actually a gen. I really enjoyed. Of course, it could have been being in college, not much time to get into league games at the time. Oh, I liked X and Y as well. I thought they were fun. So that's 10. I can't dig. Why? Oh, wait, do I need to put down the sand square? Oh, okay, okay, I understand. I hope we get another Legends game. I, I don't want them to just leave it. It was a fun concept. Snacking by waiting two decades. Oh no, don't say that. <laughs> I feel like they could have done a lot more with Pokemon Snap too, the new one. I don't, I don't know how hard it would have been, but like... I feel like they could have been like, oh, you know, we're gonna travel to a different region, bring our stuff with us, and like, you know, they could have done tie-ins with the games. And I don't know. Pika Fairy or Bulbazar says, no, we don't need those. We're good. We can we can wait a little bit. View three. Yeah. The day they finally give us Pika Blue and the internet just explodes. Okay, I need to buy water, uh, and I will do that, but I'm also gonna see if RVO's out yet. Give me free roam snap. Yep. I think they were testing something in the DLC for Scarlet and Violet, so I have hopes. Oh, I didn't know I could buy that here too. That would have been handy. Well, now I know. See, I wouldn't mind them waiting. The only thing of value I've really for that anniversary. Is deal is my dignity. But it's so nice of you to help me find my missing lock. Thank you for taking such time out of your busy schedule. I usually carry my bag with me when I'm popping in and out of the store, so I couldn't tell you exactly when it happened. Thinking about it now, the thread was a little loose on the buckle a few days ago. My sister mentioned it, and she suggested she fix it. But now it's been lost before she got the chance. We'll see you later, Mike Trump. The only thing of value I've really lost in this whole ordeal is my dignity. But it's so nice of you to help me find my miss- Well, I don't really know. Do you think the thief followed me all day today? I would most certainly have noticed if he did. Maybe he has some sort of invisibility device. Oh, that dastardly crook. The only thing of value I've really lost in this whole okay, ordeal yep, yep, is yep, my- yep. Feel free to have a look at my shop. While you're there, maybe you can have a look at our new goods. As my grandma used to say, Investigating crime, it's shopping time! Okay, she didn't actually say that, but the only thing of value I've really lost in this whole no more questions. questions. All right, remember to take a look at my shop. Oh, and catch the thief too, if you can. I already have ideas, so. Again. <laughs> Food, table, and condiments on the dining table are placed in perfect order. <clears throat> Seems everything has been immaculately cleaned. I don't think that's what you wanted me to look at, though, is it? Um. RVO shelf, it's saying? Is that just outside? Yeah, don't forget to do the thing you're trying to do. Of your shop, feathers are scattered across the shelves. Alrighty, justice. 
Let's go arrest a bird. Be like the fifth case of the first day's attorney game. Bring in bird to the witness stand. Is it this time the bird's the defendant? Oh, hey. So, did you manage to find anything useful on that case of the missing stuff? Hmm. That is all rather interesting. I guess there really is a thief after all. Let's try to catch him quick. If we can find him while they're still in town, maybe we can catch ourselves a criminal and still return all the stolen goods. Kill two birds with one stone and all that. Birds, huh? Here. Let me jot down all the evidence so far. If anyone fits this here description, well, they've got to be the perpetrator. Us law type folks, we call this, uh, criminal profiling. Uh-huh. And, uh, here, take a look. So, how goes it, partner? Ringing any bells? Got any ideas about the identity of our mystery bandit based on our profile? I misread this and I thought it just said, I think it's random. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Uh, is it a bird? <laughs> you know, that's quite an imagination you got there. We only got one bird in this town and that's Fang's ex, the Raven. Sure, he may be a rude little fella, but he ain't no criminal. Are you sure? But then again, he sure could fit the description. Maybe he at least knows something. Tell you what, let's split up. I'll go tell Unsure to get the paperwork ready, and you track down X and make that overgrown canary sing. Roll out. Yeah, um, I actually don't remember what happened to the bird in that case. Like, I know they were on the witness stand, but I don't know who took care of them after because their owner obviously is not capable of doing that anymore. I made sure to hide all traces. Oh, boy. <laughs> Wait, is he like outside? Oh, weird. He's like hanging out back here. What up? Hi, mister. Shiny. Shiny. Take them. Here you go, Coco. Oh, are you trying to give them to Coco? Where are the Hi. goods? Hi. Buzz off, stupid. It's a secret. Where are you? Hide it. Ah! Okay, buddy. 115 days? Yeah, so soon. Oh, X and Coco were in cahoots. I knew that sideways flying was weird. Come on, over here, here. Hi, birdie. Oh. Sweetie pie. Oh, X is just trying. Coco, Coco, stop it, bird! Oh no, birdie, don't do that. Did you collect all this stuff? Coco, let's be friends. Shiny, shiny. Coco, lie. Not good enough. Not enough. Gimme, gimme. Need more. More shiny. He's blonde to other people. Trade feathers! Feathers! One feather, one shiny. It's a deal! Oh, what to do? Stupid axe. Stupid bad bird. I can help you. Builder! Helper, he make friend with Coco? Help! You promise? You promise! Wanna go back? X, give back shiny. Today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Birdie find Builder. Peekaboo! Wait for me! I'm not gonna lie, it is- it, the voice freaks me out. It's shifting between more raspy to more high pitch, I don't like it. But I will help out. 
Poor X, he's just trying to impress Coco. Um, saving Private Raven. Oh my God! All right. Uh, still waiting on that blender. I love the savage dialogue options, right? Mission fail. We'll get him next time. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I Mike likes to show me videos of, of birds who are really, really good at talking, and it always freaks me out. I, I like animals in general. I will make the biggest fuss of them, but I'm also just- I'm not really a bird person. I'll make a fuss of them and stuff, but I wouldn't ever want to own one personally. Uh, right, I did get water, I think. Okay, there we go. I think we should be good there. Oh god, this is already getting covered. Okay, and these are all done as well. Wait. Oh, wait, they need to be perfect quality? Is that the problem? Okay, now in terms of upping the quality... I don't know if I've ever had perfect quality of those. How, how would I go about doing that? Is it the refiner or...? Simple circuits, rubber shells, steel bars. You need the refiner. Okay, so maybe I'll end up making the refiner first. Bronze blade, copper screws, marble slabs. It'll tell you what you need. Got you, thank you. Oh, I need one of these. Oh, is it almost gone? That's good to hear. I'm glad. Okay, so we're just waiting. Uh fill these over here. Yeah, so I hadn't even made it yet, so I thought I was just kind of like, you know, being cheeky and being safe and it wasn't going to ask for anything, but no, it did. Right, and I just used up some of the marble brick, didn't I? Heck. <laughs> okay. I didn't think that one through, did I? As soon as you get the recipe, it starts. Got you. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> With exposure. I hope not. <laughs> No one best be doing that to me. We want it to be over. I really hope you get it soon. Speaking of, actually, tomorrow is Wednesday. I may end up playing some more Sandrock just because I've been loving it so much. Um... Uh, what level are you? Can I beat you? Oh, I, we can win this. Um. Oh, I got ruin tokens from that. Interesting. 
Um, but if I don't play Sandrock tomorrow, we might end up shiny hunting. Uh, I need to make sure I get that set up tonight, just in case. But knowing me, uh, we're, we're probably just gonna <laughs> play more Sandrock. Hey, me, what a queen. <laughs> Man, hero of the people. <laughs> Sand rock until I'm back, and then shiny hunting. I hope you enjoy your movie as well. Hello, what level are you? 26? Oh, we'll be fine. Ow. But no, Ace Attorney, I would need a lot of help with, so. Hey, I don't think you can get me over here. has been made. I didn't realize I was carrying so much stuff on me. Okay, how much is it to increase my space? 3,000? How much monies do we have? Oh, we are so good. We have 14k? Heck yeah. Upgrade. going for Final Fantasy 9. I'm kind of tempted to play a little 9, I'm not gonna lie. I probably should just like sit back and wait. I have other games to play, but also I'm a little tempted to play some 9. Okay, let me see here. Items you can refine, select which items you'd like to. Okay, it tells you what you need to do so. So. Uh, okay, I'm confused. I guess we'll see. Okay, so now I have two perfect quality ones. But I need four. Oh, wait, no, we get- uh, Okay, I have misunderstood the instructions. Bear with me, bear with me. Oh, it still counts, it still counts, I guess. Um, why do I only have... two? I swear I had four- I guess I used them somewhere. I probably used them all in this, actually. All the stuff I've been getting. I can start on the mobile suit, I guess. Yeah, okay. Start on this. Oh, wrong button. Um, there we go. Okay. 
Okay, somehow that was easier <laughs> than the other commissions. That's funny. Uh, I guess I'll go... <clears throat> well, you know what? I could probably wait for tomorrow so that we can see what's going on, because I think this is going to trigger a cutscene, I'd assume. Are people setting off fireworks still? Gosh darn it, people. raining and they're still doing it. I mean, I know here um, there was one celebration that happened, I think it was last year, where people set off so many fireworks there was like a um, health advisory the next day. Uh, it caused like us so much air pollution or something along those lines. I know that was pretty bad. Um, so now that city isn't, they don't permit fireworks. Are you still gonna fight me? Are we fighting? <gasps> no, you're okay. But the TV really loud. I bet it's kids. Okay, so that should be that commission done. Oh, oh, it's really late though. I'll hand that in tomorrow. Oh, are we out of water? When did that happen? <laughs> Where did I go? Yeah, you just don't need more of them, exactly. Okay, so at least we'll have some stuff we can hand in tomorrow. Let's go ahead, go to sleep. No worries, affection. I hope Bear's okay. Give him snuggles for us if he wants them. Hey, partner. I'm happy to say that with your help, the case of the stolen knickknacks is officially closed, and X has returned all the items to their rightful owners. The bird came by to tell me it's all a big misunderstanding. At least, that's what I think it said. All's well that ends well, I guess. Nothing matters more than that. Take your easy, Builder. Thanks again for the help. There we go. That was a fun little side quest there, actually. Yeah, Rebecca, I honestly think that's how it should be. Or just people who aren't like you know maybe certified shouldn't be allowed to light them off at all Is there more? It's hard to tell. I think for the most part everything looks pretty clean. Um uh, okay, so these are done. Cool. We have so much stuff to hand in right now. Ordering food, Sandra. Let's let's get the 
Oh. I always forget it doesn't just go right to the one that you have available. Uh, amount of dew needed to make water decrease by two. Definitely want that one. Okay. It is Sunday, so I have another day, I think, of Spot the Difference, I believe. Hey there! Oh, thank one you! One commission done. That took forever. Perfect timing. So this is it. The definitely not a Gunga mobile suit. While you were working, I factored this thing into my construction plan, and with it, we'll be able to finish what's left of the bridge base in just two days. And since that's the case, I'll send word to Atara and have them send us a bridge inspector on the double. We'll have that she really has an amazing mind. Though, you'll never hear me say it to him. If his head got any more full of hot air, I think he might just float away. And we need him here, don't we? This is very true. Well, thanks again for all your efforts. I'll show Chi your work. I think he'll be very impressed with how faithful you've been to his design. Be ready to install those load-bearing trusses you built before. Howdy! How'd you find the latest sandstorm? Got a grain of sand stuck up in your eyelid yet? Oh. That's the worst. But hey, looks like our sand rock's still standing. Oh, they're still At least that's something. Scare me, considering I don't want things in my eyelids. Yep, well, you're not wrong. You'd be a fool not to observe at least a little bit of deference when it comes to one of the most powerful forces of nature there is. Hey, since you're here, let me tell you what I've been working on lately. <gasps> it's got to do with sandstorms, actually. Oh, please tell me it's the sand gate, the sand fence. Introducing the single action, near perfect, and dependable weather and arid lint limiter. Also known as the sand wall. The sand wall. Once installed in your home, it'll be your last and only line of defense against the worst flying sands of the free cities. Yay. Declan, hello, how are you? Yeah, okay. It's basically just a regular wall to help keep the sand from a storm out of your yard with the press of a button. But, uh, whatever works, right? Anyway, the prototype is almost finished. I've sent some of my diagrams over to Mian, and... Say, you want in on this little connivance? Thank you. Yes, please. I'll even sweeten the pot for you. Bring me the stuff we're missing, and I'll get you a sand wall at your workshop on the house. <laughs> well, for a good price, anyway. Gatorade's version. Yeah, I figured it must be related to Gatorade. That's interesting. Great. Well, if it turns out you can help, come find me over at Construction Junction. Then we can start turning that workshop of yours into the home of your dreams. So long as your dreams involve sand walls. I'm not gonna lie, they do. Thank you. Also... Any luck with those materials? No. But, no, no, uh, commission. Hmm. Oh, why is everyone friendly with me? Everyone got friendship for doing that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait for reply. Complete request. See, I, I guess it's waiting for me to complete that one. Uh... Cool. Okay. Um. Uh, you know what? First things first. We're gonna start moving stuff around a little bit around the workshop. <laughs> Trubbish. <laughs> Alright, I'm probably gonna swap over to mouse and keyboard for this because I remember that just feeling a lot easier. Um, let me see here. Look around. Okay, move around. Got you. Kind of similar to like Sims controls. Oh, this is so much easier than, uh, than controller. <laughs> it's 
one thing I, I didn't like about playing Dreamlight. Oh. Oh, you can move your, your roof around. I didn't know that. Um. No, no, I, I... Okay. Do I grab the house? Oh. Yes, there we go. Uh, one thing about Dreamlight Valley is I got it on PlayStation. Uh, after playing it, starting it on PC. And it's like, it's fine, but moving stuff around and like organizing your town sucks <laughs> so much with just a controller. I do you know that Trubbish is a cat? I did not. I did not. Um, uh, rotate is Q. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna have to move this thing again, aren't I? Remember moving you the first time. Can I have it sticking off the back? Oh, I can. Nice. There we go. Now it's not interrupting anything. I thought Trubbish was a literal dust bunny. Pokemon Star once did a line of cat Pokemon merch and it was included. I think they just didn't really know what Trubbish was. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I don't... I don't trust that. <laughs> uh... That's that side. That there. My birthday actually wasn't too long ago. Oh, was it just two days ago? I hope you had a good day. Do you get up to anything fun? Was it more of a chill day? I think I really appreciate this. Um... Uh, this menu here so much because it means I can kind of like spend some time to organize my yard instead of having to like run around and do everything manually. Oh, wait a minute. Where did my furnace go? That's weird. I think I lost a furnace. <laughs> How? I don't know. We're not going to worry about it. Hey, Faye, how are you? You hit retrieve instead of move. Oh, did that put it in my inventory somewhere? Or do I have to just like... Wait. No. You'll get in your mail. Oh, heck. All right. Thank you. I didn't know that was even a possibility. Uh, all right, so you... You know what, actually? Uh, ah, those are fine there. There we go. So now we have this little section over here. I'm gonna move this to like here somewhere. Uh, all these chests here. Does this game eventually have a like storage room or anything similar? Because I like that you can access all your chests from one spot. I do. Uh, But also, having all of them out seems a little weird. I guess I could just put them in my house if it really bugged me that much. Okay, for now you go there. Okay, things are split up a little bit, but I think this will be good. How do I leave? 
Sorry for tomorrow when I can get oh this heart monitor off. I hope everything goes well. Game on Steam Deck. Uh, does help with trying to place things because of oh yeah touch screen. I forgot that it has that. Okay, let's see. Now, what is that? Switch board. Oh, okay. It's a recipe. I like my new electric bike just got delivered. Oh, go have fun. Enjoy. I hope the assembly goes well. Button. There we go. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was a little weird. Use an electric bike to get to and from culinary school. I don't think I know anyone personally who owns one, but they seem like they'd be handy. Uh oh, here's my furnace back. Thank you. From Fang. Crystal, mother's old diagram of swing for X. Build and install at clinic, you promised. And from the research center, that is finally the blender. Oh my goodness me, that took forever. Oh, okay, here I'm gonna have to move stuff uh, manually for a second. Squeeze it in this spot here. There we go. Okay. Look at all this space, though. This is nice. And from bikes after I somehow crashed, too, I logically should have never. A to B if you don't can't have a car, but they're not good for exercise because most have terrible pedaling. Even when they say they're hybrid, yeah. Yeah, I've heard that before, actually. Uh, okay, what was I doing? So I want to I wanna get the blender going, I think. Let's see what we need to make that. Bronze blades, steel bars, bearings, and engines. That should be straightforward enough. Okay, just the bronze blade. Uh, which I need two of those copper uh, cogs for. Gears, I guess. And then I'm at Glory over here and Twix. I think we have both of those two. Twix I might be wrong on, but I know for sure we definitely have M&M. My favorite was the time they had Nanaimo bar McFlurries, but like that's very seasonal, I think. Which is unfortunate because Nanaimo bars are amazing. Uh, so I need... Okay. And then two of those, like, button things. Ours is Smarties. Oh yeah, no, my apologies. I think ours is actually Smarties as well, now that you mention it. The Nymo for real? Yes! I think it was just very, very seasonally for around, like, the holiday season. Uh, but it was so good. And if you haven't had a Nanaimo bar, they are excellent. I didn't like them as a kid because it does include coconut. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but they are good. <laughs> Iron tools pretty fast. Had mine before summer ended. Yes, very, very handy, definitely. 
Uh, okay, I need one copper wire. And I just need to get some pigment and we are... Uh, we're good. I think uh, playing through the early access, I, I checked it out like last summer, so it's, it's been a while. Um, but playing through what little I did has really helped me kind of understand vaguely what I'm doing with this game. Um, not to mention chat. Chat keeps nudging me in the right direction, being like, hey, you should probably get those tools sorted <laughs> earlier rather than later. Don't really like coconut. I get it. I, I didn't like it as a kid, mainly for texture reasons. As an adult, I love it. Um, I think it's just one of those things that's kind of hit or miss with people. Okay, bird swim. Let's go get this out sorted for uh, for Fang here, or X. You don't like both flavor or texture. Coconut for the texture. I like the flavor solely things that do not include. Yeah, exactly. That's how I started too. Actually, I I got over my texture disliking of it, or dislike of the texture, uh, by having things that were just flavored coconut. Okay, let's see. So again, the thing on the left is correct. The thing on the right is gonna have issues somewhere. Oh, there we go. Zooming out, I feel like. No, no, is this texture with food? Yep. Yeah. No, I get you, I get you. I uh, will have stuff that I like the flavor of, but if the texture's off, I just cannot do it. divot there for a minute. It's also but cannot stand raw tomatoes otherwise that slimy mushy texture. Yep, yep. I don't like raw tomato either. I will eat it if it's like already in a burger, but it's like, it's not the preference. <laughs> Whereas my mom, one of her favorite like breakfasts is just plain tomato uh, sliced and put on toast with some pepper. And it's like, I couldn't do it. Not a veg fan at all. I've gotten a lot better as I've gotten older. I used to be the same though. Take them out of burgers, yeah. Uh, I can probably do the bloodstone stuff easy enough. Just okay, so now that does say perfect, so I'm gonna like be careful about that. Like you said. Actually, can I take more commissions now? I can only still take two, okay. Too lazy to go to your kitchen. I mean, at least you got donuts. Oh, wait, Sir Bagel's worth. I wonder if we have the same thing. I also have allergies to like raw fruits and veggies. I still eat them because, you know, they're good for you. Um, but it's tied into my seasonal allergies. Yeah, that is it. Yeah. <gasps> Hi, Andrew. How are you? How's your day treating you? Yeah, we got the same thing. That's funny. I don't think I've met someone else who's mentioned having it. Okay, let's go do this one. Oh, no worries, Penguin. I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better soon. You don't got any allergies. That's very lucky, yeah. Went to my family for years and I only thought I just didn't like eating fruits and vegetables. No, that's the worst. 
Yeah, I didn't know what, like, there was a name for it until a couple years ago, but it doesn't stop me. I love watermelon and I will sit there munching on that all day if you let me. And it definitely bothers me, but... Alright, here you go. New swing for X. Can't enjoy bananas. Look at the shinies. Shiny. Look, birdie. Woo, 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 woo. And bells. That's so cute. Oh, yay! Okay, X just became our buddy. That's cool. Hmm? Ask me! Ah, ask me! Oh. I'm the brains. He's the bird. And Fang just that became our associate. Query X. I'll get you eventually. Mm -hmm. Oh, not voiced. And days passed on my birthday. We only had six more days to wait before feeling warmth once more. Here, I hardly notice the difference between winter and spring. So you're like the 22nd of winter, did I understand that right? Six more days of, till warmth? I think I'm allergic to kiwi because my mouth is tingly and burny. It's not a huge painful thing, just discomfort. I mentioned the feeling to my husband one time that he was normal and he's like, uh, no. No, no, yeah, no, that's exactly it. That is the feeling. Um. I've heard with kids, you're meant to look out for if they start saying things are spicy when they shouldn't be. So like bananas or, or you know, heaven forbid peanut butter, but you know them, you know what I mean. Got work schedules to make though, which sucks. Oh. Did you ever get everything worked out with your... Oh, I'm, I'm missing him. With your lights and stuff? Hello. Howdy. Dropping in from on high to give you your commissions. There we go. Love Kiwi though, so you're still gonna do it. Yes, yeah. Uh... Okay, cool. We are really just kind of playing the waiting game still. Week of Christmas, but the area manager wants done until January. You did and didn't. Uh oh. Uh oh. Concerns. You know what? Actually, I should be running more through here. Okay, so I'm just... Right, I'm just missing the bronze blade, which I needed this for. Now I remember what I was doing. I really want to see this paint quest with Unsure. He's been waiting really patiently. There we go. We got our first blender. I distinctly remember blending poop in Porsche, so... This should be interesting. Okay. Cool. That is set up. Um... Uh... These we're just waiting on. Waiting. And wait, we're just waiting. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Do I stand correct? No, I'm still a couple short. Bear with me. 
All right, you know what? While those complete, I'm actually gonna go uh, mining, I think. We've been kind of out of tin for a while. Oh, you know what? I'll find some of this here, too. Fair warning, friends, we do have an ad break coming up. Just so you know. Um, I'm trying out a different ad schedule uh, this month, so we're we're seeing how we, how we like it. You can actually see the sorting machine working. I didn't even come back over here since we put that down. Thanks, <laughs> messing up experiments just because I have very little interest in him personally. I do need to remember to do it though, so I can befriend him. So, um, I I was forgetting all the time when I was doing the early access for this game, and then affection let me know. Um, you can add stuff manually to your calendar as reminders, and you can set it so that it repeats, like, every week. Um, and that's what I did, and I haven't forgotten since, so I don't know if that helps you at all, but definitely helped me. Um, right, skill tree. Oh, finally, here we go. Automatically catch scorpions and shiny scorpions. Okay, so looking for primarily tin, I went through all of ours, making like well over 200 bars of, of uh, bronze. Okay, here we go. Here's the top of the door. No, no, come on. You can do it. Sometimes it seems to get a little bit confused about where I'm aiming. Even with the reminders, I forget the reminders of the <laughs> reminders, right? I get you. <laughs> and no, I just set mine up at like a time where like I knew I was just going to be leaving my workshop probably for the day. Around nine in the morning usually for me. Um, and it's like this good time to be like, oh, you can just stop over there on your way to wherever you're going. should be enough. Oh, I don't 
thought that guy had ever fallen off. That was interesting. I guess I'll use this one. I think I always use the other side. This is weird. Oh, wait. More sand leak. I forgot about that. We can uh, run around and harvest now that we know vaguely where it spawns in. you know what I have eight days to do that one I only have two days to do that so I guess I'll, I'll hand these over to Owen first in here that's really weird oh okay um <laughs> Owen Oh, oh, hi! It's Sunday night, yes. I knew this was happening. Mm. Uh. Uh -huh. More than enough for next week? Oh, uh, by the way, inventory's gonna be pretty tight. Peak season and all, if you got the That's time, maybe you can help me out again next week. Next time you're thinking of doing something bad, don't. <laughs> Just don't. Just don't do the bad thing. Part time work, sure. Yeah. Oh, what the deal done with it? technology? Am I right? Yeah. There we go. Um, is there a reason to come to the firesides any other time? Hey Doesn't there. really look like it. Uh huh. Be seeing you. We are slowly whittling down that list. I love how today we started stream with like no requests and we were just on top of things and then suddenly it all piled on. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate that it's not like, you know, too annoying to get your hands on either way. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate the church as well on Sundays for uh, getting everyone together. I keep, like, using up all my wire. This poor guy is never going to get this commission. <laughs> Tempted just to make a whole bunch right now. I'm very easily influenced. I'm buying this game. It looks really fun. It, uh, okay, you know what? Even if you are easily influenced, I'll be honest, it's a really fun game. So I hope you enjoy. Did they stop the fireworks affection? That's good. Hopefully Bear wasn't too bothered. Okay, let's go hand this in to Heidi. Yeah, I think I saw Sandrek was on sale, at least on PC. This'll do it. Now I've got everything I need to start making the sand walls. 
you and Mian are at the top of the list. And as promised, you two are getting the hookups for a decent price. Just head over to my catalog at Construction Junction when you get a minute to start the process. It's on the page titled Sandwall. Right. I'm assuming you're probably already closed, but... Maybe not, maybe not. Okay, something about... Sand walls? Sand wall. There we go. Nice. I'm actually really happy about that. Okay, and while I'm in here... Um... Oh, can I not select from here? I know that there's a way to change your... Oh no, your gate. I want the gate. Change appearance. You know what? We fancy now, chat. Am I wasting money? Absolutely. Should I be? Probably not. Will I? Yes. Oh, I want to see what it looks like before I actually commit. Oh, I guess I could just go back to... Yeah, okay, this is fine. I like that one the most, actually. Apparently that isn't costing me anything. Wow, look at all these options. This is neat. I've really not looked in here very much. Oh, that just changes the top wall? Oh, okay, wall one and... No, wait, no. How do I change the wooden board there? Still run back and forth the living room and dining room. I got him settled finally near my husband. Oh. Have to go for a dinner with friends. Oh, Hungry Squirrel, thank you so very much. You were living up to your name, I hope. I hope you enjoy your dinner. Um, and thank you so much for hanging out. I always appreciate it. Okay, so if I click here and then change appearance. No, see, that's not quite what I wanted. Like, it's looking good, but... I just want to change that wood paneling there to match what I have underneath the roof right now. Change material, maybe? Oh, here we go, here we go. It's cute, a little brick house, right? Maybe not, like, the best looking, but... I kind of like it, I think it's cute. Can I change the door too? No? Maybe I have to buy another door. Aha, uh -huh, like this? Oh, uh. Oh, no, no, I. I uh. Hmm. How does one get rid of their exist? Do I have to destroy it? Let me like let me let me move it for a second. This is gonna be kind of weird. It's gonna be a little weird, but don't worry about it. Pop one door on the wall and then delete the one you don't want. Yeah, that's what I was figuring it might be. That's perfect, though. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, this is cool. This is neat. All right. I 
actually don't really want the awning either. Um, can I get some... Windows? Maybe when we make our house bigger, we'll have some, like, you know, more windows, but... I think for now that's kind of cute. Um... If I can raise this and put that, like, there... Signboard over slightly. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Tater's garage looking fancy. Things pop into your mail if you override something else. Also good to know, and it seems like it, it like happens right away also. Because I got that furnace back earlier, like in no time. <laughs> Your sand wall's good to go. Set it up myself. And now we play the waiting for a sandstorm game. Oh, I hope we don't get one soon. By the way, sand wall's not the only thing I can fix you up with. Take another look at that catalog of mine, and we can set you up with a whole mess of artificial enhancements. Ranging from the practical to those just pleasing to the eye. I'll be on deck. Yeah, that's pretty much what I just did. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. I love it. Oh, I need to change our fence at some point, though, because I think I, I, from what I remember, I tended to just leave the sand wall up, but it looks kind of weird from here. Uh, due to changes in your home, some items had to be removed. So I think this was because I put in a window, right? Yeah, there are windows where there weren't windows before, so that's all that that was. Oh my goodness, I did not realize how much stuff I had on me. Oh, um... Uh... Oh, finding place for this might be kind of... Oh no, there we go, that works. This is so cute from the outside. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really liking this so far. Oh, here, can I put up the sand wall? I'm just gonna have it up all the time. <laughs> My own little little place. This is so cute. Oh, I actually like what I did. I did a cool thing. I wish there was light coming from the top of the window over the door, but that's just that's just a little me thing. picked up that one from but I guess I'll put that in there for now. Yeah this is cute. This is very very acceptable I'm happy. I just jump over the fence to get in my yard or else I would have. Oh true actually you know what that is a very good point maybe I will go back and edit that fence at some point then. Um, is there anything I can set up for overnight? Was I missing again? Oh, right, no, I'm not missing anything. I think the paint is actually done. Yeah, okay, cool. We get to watch paint dry with Unsure tomorrow. This is going to be exciting, I can tell. I think it's going to be too late for him right now. Okay, let's save. And go to sleep.
we go. And also, question of the day, if you guys have just joined us, maybe you weren't here for it earlier. Uh, if you could only have one Switch game, so a game that came out for the Switch. So there I was, oh, outnumbered, a million to one. Whoa, did you just see that? He's really close to the tracks. Yeah, no kidding. We should probably... <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> Train's coming. Oh, mache, mache. <sighs> Nice one, Builder. Uh -huh. I was, uh, just about to do that. What's going on? Whereas, I was feeling sleepy when I got off the train last night, and... <laughs> so, sorry, I got interrupted. I forgot that... Where is my camera going? Hello? This is a nice fence, but where are we going? Um, question of the day, if you could have one Switch game ported to the next gen console, which one would you choose? Just one. Uh, why were you sleeping on the tracks? Well, I don't know how to answer that one. Is it better or worse if I mention this stuff happens from time to time? In any case, thanks for saving me. I meant. I was sent here by the Taran government to inspect a railway bridge. Where can I find City Hall? I'm supposed to talk with Mayor Trudy. Hold your horses, pal. You're not getting off that easy. I don't care if you're the deacon of Medi. Here in Sandrock, everybody subscribes to a little tenant called responsibility. What if we hadn't showed up? You'd be in the hospital right now, at best. Next time you feel like taking a nap, check your surroundings. Ask yourself questions like, am I near any heavy machinery? Am I in the den of monsters? Do I smell gas? This line of thinking may save your life one day, because we're not always going to be there. You got it? Er I'm sorry, sir. I'll try to be more careful from now on. Yeah, you do that. All's well that ends well, I guess. Uh, hey, Builder, me and Unsure got a patrol. Can you do me a solid and take the inspector here to City Hall? I'd feel a lot better if you went along, considering the circumstances. Thanks. Unsure, let's ride. <laughs> Have you accidentally napped in a den of monsters, Justice? Sorry for the trouble. Please, lead the way. Alrighty, so here's Mint. Uh, he was a character who, if you've played Porsche, you probably recognize him. And I remember the first time I saw him, I was just like, what? Uh, but yeah, he is constantly snoozing. Now, if they had had an audit, I would have been infinitely more happy. But you know what? Sometimes you can't get what you want in life. Don't anyone say anything, though, because I'm still not entirely 100% convinced he's not in the game, but I don't think he is. But I can dream. Yeah, more cameos would be fun. I it's It does feel natural, though, that there aren't that many. <laughs> Chronic sleepy. Huh? That's your... Huh. Well, hello. It seems the two of y'all are familiar. Nah, he was just calling him Sleepyhead, and he was just calling him Space Case. <laughs> Indubitably, this is Sleepyhead. Uh, Mint. We grew up together. Mint, you're here on behalf of the Ataran government, I presume? Yeah, that's right. I've been working as an engineer around the free cities. They've sent me here to make sure your bridge is good to go. Nice to meet you, Mayor Trudy. I meant. Oh, oh, that's awkward. All right. Mm -hmm. Pleased to make your acquaintance as well, Mr. Mint. I'm afraid Mayor Trudy is out at the moment. I'm Minister Matilda. I'll be taking over for her until she gets back. I hadn't expected your arrival so soon, Mint. We may need to continue this discussion a bit later. I must say, though, what a coincidence. The director's childhood companion waltzing in to inspect the bridge he toiled so hard on. And we here at Sandrock do appreciate the good doctor's work, don't we? Actually, I wasn't finished talking about my robot, but never mind that. Speaking of inspection, Sleepyhead, did you bring your inspection equipment? Ah, I didn't. <laughs> good job. I knew it. Never change, Mint. Do you know what you need? Yeah, 
I need a magneto-inductive inspector to test the stress. All right, I've got it. Can you help? I'll draw up a diagram for Mint's missing equipment and send it to you. Please check your mailbox tomorrow and build it for us as soon as possible. Thanks. Well, if you're not ready for me, Minister, I could maybe use a rest. It's been over 10 minutes since my last nap. So, where is the local hotel here? Hotel? Nonsense. You'll be staying with me. I am certain you will find my research center far more hospitable than that old milk shack. Well, okay. Ah, <laughs> well, let's not get in the way of these two peas in a pod. Looks like they have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> so long. Am I shipping it? I don't remember if I'm shipping it or not. We might be shipping it. Childhood besties. I can't remember what he sounded like in Portia. I remember speaking to him, but I don't really remember very much about him. I don't think I really spoke to him all that much. Okay, um, that one should be done today. Talk to Unsure. Right. There we go. Um, you know what? Now, let's go talk to Unsure right now. Sounds kind of the same. Or like brothers in a way to you, maybe? I guess we'll have to see. Unsure, do you want to watch paint dry? I want to watch paint dry. That is not how you paint a wall, but okay. Whew. Nice work. The hardest part is behind us. First, some music to set the mood. Oh. Now it's time to sit back and enjoy the show. Uh, you mean watching paint dry? Yep. You've heard the stories. But did you ever think you'd really be living it? Watching paint dry. Why is he using the same music from the dance off? You can't beat the smell, either. Well, I mean, you know, there is a certain smell to it, but... Oh, look at that big glob there. Okay, there should not be any globs, buddy. I love Unsure. He's he's a weirdo, but we like him. Definitely, I, I yep, agree. This is living. Someone yesterday, it's very much Zuko vibes. But like, awkward Zuko. This is one of my favorite things in the whole world. <laughs> you know what? I'm here for it. I Looks will like stand the here with dry. Him. Well, you know what they say. Nothing good can last forever. Okay, it would not be that fast, but alright if you say so. Your calm meditation with unsure watching paint dry has cleared your mind and given you a stronger sense of purpose. Luck increased by 20 for 24 hours. So I was looking at... Uh, at my luck earlier when I was on break, because I was on the, like, the screen that showed it. I only had one luck. What can I do with that? What is the use of it? Is it just for getting drops, or...? Special desert paint, maybe. I always trust the guy who's best friends with a rock. <laughs> He's innocent. He's a good beam. Finding rare drops, yeah. Should I maybe go and tackle like the breach then today i don't think i had any other like big plans i'm just trying to decide what's the best use of this accessories in your house will bump it Did up did you too. enjoy yourself my favorite part was when the paint dried <laughs> oh my god oh i want to be besties with him so bad what does unsure like you guys well i'm beat that was more than enough excitement for one day I'll catch you later. Except for watching paint dry. What else is he like? <laughs> oh, he, oh, he... You gonna go back to bed? In your shoes? In his shoes. Well, you know what? Heck. I won't judge. Do you enjoy your paint fumes? Oh. <laughs> he's, he's a funny character. Then it is to walk out a 
Or he likes or. Um. Mm, more part-time work going. I'm gonna skip it for now. I feel guilty, but it's like, I just want to get all this stuff done. Opal and rose stone. I do have opal now. So I could do that. Oh, definitely. No, he'll sleep perfectly. Also, low key, I've only painted one room in my life. Any other rooms that were painted in and around my home, I was too young to paint, but I painted my current room. Uh, the blue, very light blue that it currently is. I have not felt worse neck pain than when I was painting a ceiling. And like, we had long arm things, but you're still like looking up at an angle all day. My neck and my shoulders, dearie me. Not a good time. High end, or he loves lower stuff like copper and tin is neutral. Okay, so I'll stick with the opal then for now. Contract. I just want to give you this. <laughs> there we go. Um, oh, we haven't checked our mail yet today. From Rocky. Dear Crystal, things at Salvage Co have been pretty good lately. Uh, although we do miss Bama a lot. Me and the boys were thinking, since it's always you fixing stuff up around here, maybe we could start delivering scrap to your door. Save you a bit of time and effort. We can't do it totally for free, but we can give you a real good deal. Stop in for details. So I think that was the commission thing. Yeah, I just saw. Um, I think for now I'm good for that. Wait for diagram. Okay, so... Let's see what we have for today. Uh, I could probably do that one. That's perfect quality. <laughs> uh, yeah, I could probably do that. There we go. Hand these in. Let's go. Uh, let's go hang out at the breach. We're level twenty-four. I haven't done the highest level of the breach yet, so that might be a thing we can do. Hi, Coco. For the animals, this is a very dumb question. Do they have written down birthdays in game? And if they do, does someone tell you? Like I imagine, Bang would say for X, but I don't know about for the others. I mean, I'm certainly happy I got my lock back. It's not like I wanted a new bag anyway. Well, as my pa used to say, a defective bag is still better than no bag. He used to lose things all the time, though. People have to tell you. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure. It just suddenly dawned on me. Macchiato, are you okay? You're staring into my soul from just over Arvio's shoulder. <laughs> Please, don't look at me like that. Thanks. Okay, oh! Man, Arvio is now our buddy. Nice. Do you want anything mm -hmm. else? This is my favorite workshop owner. I don't suppose I could trouble you to get me a cow print sofa. It'd make me so happy. I don't even See know ya. how to do that yet. Here's your calendar once you get to a certain friendship level. Oh, maybe it does then. Second part of the trial for case two. Best of luck. Oh, they're practicing. I didn't know they did this. This is so cute. Thank you. That 
that's... Oh my... Jeez. Okay, so that is one thing I will say about this game. I have not gifted Matilda anything. But I still have friendship with her. And with a whole bunch of other people here, too. Almost purely from commissions. I always thought it was interesting. Like, you know, if I help out RVO, Amira's gonna like me more because that's her brother. And they have those relationships. Um, which I guess is why you have like the relationship tab so you can kind of see like who's who it's neat i appreciate that she doesn't deserve it no no i agree unsure oh i forgot to grab your gift buddy i'm sorry oh birthday Thanks. We've known each other for a while. I think it's important that we know certain details about each other. Name, unsure, age, going on 30. Oh, wow, that's not what I would have guessed, but okay. Occupation, Civil Corps Deputy in Training. Birthday, 4th of Autumn. You don't need to tell me your info. <laughs> He's like, I don't care. Catch you later. Oh, wait, that means we just missed it. Heck. You get more points from it. Interesting. Okay. So, I haven't done the highest level. It's level 18 to 22, so I probably shouldn't have any issues. Let's go in here and do this. Oh, yeah, I, I just- I remember appreciating that in Porsche, because it always did feel weird to me in Story of Seasons, where... You know, I'm helping out someone's son, but they still don't even know me at all. Ooh, these are like different floor layouts. That's fun. A doodle doom. There we go. Also, bless that um, uh, health regen whenever I knock out an enemy. It's small, but it's it's nice if you just got hit like a little bit. could be so useful yeah i really do like that it's gonna make giving up this one hard um, but speaking of i'm still using a bronze sword and shield i should probably look into getting the, the iron if there i'm assuming there is one but I was. What's everyone doing for food tonight, by the way? You guys have any ideas for dinner? If you've already eaten, what did you have? I ask because it's per usual. I have no idea what I'm having. And sometimes I get ideas. Oh, no. It's actually all of them. you had pizza find your weapons or find them until you get the perks you like it's random but it's handy oh i will check that out that does sound handy chicken tenders and fries i'm not gonna lie that actually sounds really good right now 
really need to take a look in our freezer and like get rid of a whole bunch of stuff. Use it up. Our freezer's almost always packed. Second lunch, small ham sandwich. Gucci apple, my favorite. Oh nice! I was I realized my mom has like one favorite kind of apple. I can't even remember what they're called, but it's the only type she's ever had in the house, and I don't tend to go out of my way to buy apples. But maybe I should try, because I feel like there's so many different kinds that I haven't had. This guy is beefy, literally. See, like, some of these I've never even heard of, if I'm really honest. Which is kind of crazy to think about. Man, I was until I had a Fuji in college, I was bored, and, like, instantly became a favorite. Yeah, see, I've always been kind of mad to them, so maybe I would change my mind. Okay, bear with me. It's gonna allow me to uh, dodge roll a bit faster. Oh yeah, that does refill very quickly. <laughs> Snapdragon apples for the first time this past weekend. They were pretty amazing, honestly. I'm gonna like start writing all these down. The apple suggestions will drag Mike to like a big farmer's market or something. I'm gonna try all these different apples. Uh, but it was actually the same. My mom likes green grapes, she doesn't like purple or red or whatever you want to call them. Um, so I had never had purple grapes. And I just assumed all grapes were just really sour, but that's just the ones my mom likes. <laughs> so I only tried red grapes recently or purple, and I love them. I like them sweeter, and she doesn't, and it's like I had no idea they could be like that. I just didn't assume. You prefer green? Yeah. I like, uh, I guess it'd be green grape juice over purple. Um, oh, okay, I see where we are. But I definitely prefer purple grapes. I have had cotton candy grapes. You know what? I can see why people like them, but I couldn't get into it. It was just a little too weird. It was very strange. It's the sort of thing where I'm glad I tried it, you know? Mom and I are the same way, actually. Purple grapes forever. Seem like I could go in there, but maybe it's the other side. Oh, you can't even eat grapes. I was actually watching a, uh, you guys know Game Theory, except now he's branched off and he has like different theory channels. It was Food Theory. Uh, and he was trying, uh, like fair food. And one of the things was like these like grapes. Uh, that were covered in like a candy. I think they may have been the cotton candy grapes. But they had like a candy coating on the outside as well. It looked interesting. Okay. Um... Do I have to like jump down? I'll jump down. I don't mind. It's just kind of weird. Oh, that's not quite what you're meant 
to land it or uh, land, I don't think. Definitely, I think dodge rolling is like the key. <laughs> I appreciate that info. It, it's made a big difference. Oh, it's Mickey you want something. Okay, with your tokens, you should be able to buy clothes. Ooh. Yeah, actually, you know, I haven't really looked, so I'll, I'll give that a check. I think I just ran right by a treasure chest. Can I go back for a second? Oh, I did, but it's a... You know what? Eh, I don't really care. I'm just gonna go. Ooh! Wow. That was a lot. Alright, cool. There we go. All S rank across the breach. Um, whereabouts vending machine or at the civil court? Okay, thank you. You already knew what I was gonna ask. You're like, yep. <laughs> also, hydrate. Thank you. Will do. Okay. Um,. I have 213 things here. Okay, so it's the funky stuff that looks like it's the best. Uh, yeah, why not? Okay, I don't have enough for anything else. I'm just gonna have to keep farming it, but... That will be nice. Let's see, um, should I go back to being Arthur for a bit? I might go back to being Arthur for a bit. Cool. I don't look very threatening, but it's okay. <laughs> Just in case it wasn't clear, we at the Civil Corps are here to help. If you have been in any kind of trouble, you just holler and we'll come a running. That's the Civil Corps official promise. Catch you right. later. Um, our diagram. Yeah, we're just kind of waiting. So I think I'm going to go ahead and maybe run around and try to get some more of the, um, of the sand leaks we need for Vivi. Um, but also, actually, you know what? No, no. More importantly, I want to go change my fence. <laughs> this is very important. How my workshop looks? Absolutely top tier thing of importance. Oh, Jasmine's hanging out. Pal works far away, but that's okay. Grandma Vivi and Aunt Heidi take good care of me while Ma's gone. Oh. Do they mention her dad at all? Maybe no spoilers, but like a yes or no. Do they mention her dad at all? Aside from that? Yeah. This fence seems fancy. I'm gonna use it. Who's dad? Uh, Jasmine's. 
small tip for using stairs if you want a second floor. Give it a separate room. I think I'm gonna hold off on upgrading my house for now. I'm gonna try to keep that in mind though. Oh, you know what I also wanted? I wanted a stable there, didn't I? So I have the bars now. I just need um, these. Uh, okay, so 10 hardwood sticks, five rubber. Gotta keep that in mind. <laughs> mind you, where am I gonna put the stable? Lord knows I might need to redo my house organization again. Oh, do they? Partially why you don't do much with it. Yeah, yeah, I get you. And? Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Can I still jump over? Oh, this is... Oh, no, I can, I can jump over. Okay, so I needed, like, ten of those. And... Uh, what is it in here? There we go. Five of those. <laughs> Where's the barbed wire? Uh, okay. Let's look around for sand leaks. See if I can't get some more of those rustled up here. I think our crop is going to be done here pretty soon, though. I love the unfortunately in that sentence. Unfortunately, this isn't prison. whole bunch over here earlier. I just don't remember where they all were. Looking for sand leaks. I know that they can spawn now. Um, like naturally, but maybe they take more time to respawn. Um, I'm also growing them. I'm just kind of being impatient. Steam Deck count is... It's PC. It's PC because you're running the Steam version of it. Near the windmill? Um, mill. That thing? Let me take a look. So. Are you gonna- okay. I know. Come here. I have fought things that are in level 20. I just one-shotted that thing. When it goes on sale then, yeah. I know. It's- it's tempting. It seems very useful. Anything too much over here, but I have more than I did before, which is which is good. I do have a suspicion that this stuff takes a while to respawn, uh, but that's okay. Wait, okay, fence is really nice, but I I can't I can't just like you know go around. Okay. Or I can't jump over, sorry. Yeah, see, that's the reason I would want one. And it, again, it's a want, very much not a need. But when I'm rendering, when my computer's doing stuff, I really can't touch it. Um, I just let it do its thing. And that means I, I tend to avoid playing PC games. <laughs> Ooh, 
I got like a cape at some point. Leave off yesterday so a bunch of people left in solidarity and they're already setting up their new project with a name. Announcements tomorrow super quick. That is incredibly quick. I did hear about someone leaving. I guess that that's gonna be like a trickle effect where other people are going to. But uh, yeah, that's a little weird that it's so fast. <laughs> what do I know though, right? Well, that is a whole heck of a lot of stuff we just did in Sand Rock today, friends. Unfortunately, this is where I have to wrap up. I may or may not be back tomorrow with more Sand Rock. I'm not really sure. If you want to drop a follow, though, I usually do stream every day except for Thursdays and Fridays. Um, Wednesdays are kind of the one day of the week. Oh, thank you for the follow. It's like the one day of the week where I just let myself play whatever. Usually it's whatever I feel like, but if I'm honest, I just want to play more sand rock. But I also know, it, you know, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Uh, I am a variety streamer, so I do try to change things up. Yeah, copy down the raid message. We're going to raid Wade Lady. There's no reason not to. She's playing my time at sand rock. I don't know if she's started a new save file or not. So fair warning, she might be really far ahead. Um, but we are going to go say hi to Wade. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Um, I do appreciate all the follows. I appreciate you guys absolutely devouring and smashing that sub goal. Uh, I hope you all have an awesome rest of your day and hopefully, hopefully, I will see you all tomorrow.